somebody say heroin binders? Yes, I'm back with more of their stuff. Now, if you told me 10 years ago that I would be getting binder sponsorships, I'd laugh at your face. But here we are. Heroin binders is a chess binding brand from Taiwan, also known as the best selling chess binding brand in Asia. They have three dealers in Hong Kong, now two dealers in the US, with 46 distribution bases in Taiwan, plus one headquarters. Their binders are made to be worn for more than eight hours and is safe to be worn while sleeping and exercising. This is what sets them apart from other binder brands. And it's their fabric that makes this all possible. Their binders are made out of fabric that's double layered, super elastic, with strong resilience and powerful flattening effects. And as a whole, their binders are made for customers of various shapes, gender preferences, social identities. They have models of different sizes for their binders, which you can refer to. There is something for everyone. Other than binders, you can also get boxer briefs, LGBT themed items. You can refer to this first review video if you're interested to see what I reviewed back then. So the lovely folks at Heroin Binders reached out to me. And at first they were like, We have swimming binders for you. Yeah, they were like, Hey, we have swimming binders. Would you like to review them? And I was like, I can't swim. Yeah, it's one of those things that I tried learning but could never grasp. So how do I review swimming binders if I can't swim, right? Like, I can't give you proper feedback without knowing what it's like to swim and how a binder is supposed to feel safe for swimming. What if I did give advice and someone ends up drowning? Because of me! I am under the water. Please help me. Here too much raining. <laughs> So I'm not your guy for that. Which is why instead of the swimming binder, they sent me one who can look past on a binder, one fit me zipper binder, and one Bora Bora boxer briefs. Before I share with you the secrets to Nicholas Fla I mean, secrets to chest binding. Let's look at the products. Okay, I already have a flag, but still I'm touched, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's quite easy to win me over. So normally I'd call a hook and loop fastener binder like this a binder, but then I realized that that word is actually trademarked and this type of adhesive is called hook and loop fastener. So this $60 binder only comes in one color and it's white on the website. But looking at the image and even while holding it right now, I'd say it's more of a light grayish color. The front material, while thicker than the back, doesn't feel as solid as the other three binders of theirs that I reviewed previously. So you get this 12 centimeter wide space for the adjustable fastener. Oh, and this is an M size by the way. And then we have a $60 Fit Me zipper binder. Yeah, this is the same as the one in the previous video. And it's in black. Yes. As for their Bora Bora boxer briefs, I love it. It's very comfy and cozy. And this is the convenient part that I mentioned in the previous video for people to put their pads on during that time of the month. And this feels a lot thicker than the other boxer briefs. From what I've heard, they regularly launch new boxer shorts on their site and I highly, highly recommend them. Does it, does it work? <laughs> nice, nice. I like. I feel like Tarzan. Can you see that? <laughs> this is with the hook and loop fastener. And this is the Fit Me Zipper Binder. Now allow your chest binder Lao Shu, your chest binder Sensei, to share with you the secrets to effective chest binding. I should be charging you guys for- no, no, <laughs> no. So secret number one, understand that it's not supposed to be completely flat. Yes, when getting a chest binder, drill this into your head, that it's not going to make you completely flat, unless you're a natural born plank. Hey, the school that I went to, there were tons of girls who were just flat. They were planks. Do you know how jealous I was? They had nothing. Petan. Not a peta. Not a peta. Iron bots. <laughs> That's quite a mean way to describe it for people who want to have badong badongs. And I'm like, take mine. Take these useless lumps of fat. Yeah, so if you're a natural born plank, then yeah, you can get that desired petan look. But for people like me, we have to understand and accept the fact that the binder is not going to make us completely flat, but still flat enough to help with dysphoria. Because these binders are meant to give the illusion that you have pecs, which is a good thing for trans men or people who want to look masculine. Now, in my case, I actually get mistaken for a boy with or without a binder. I don't know why. And it's not that I want to look like a boy, but it's just that being mistaken for one means that the pancake are well hidden. Now with this binder, I'm actually okay with the slight bump. I'm fine with it. Focus. Focus! I'm using the auto face detect but like, where's the face? <laughs> to me, this is giving me the desired look. So you know what? I'm fine with this even though I'm not completely flat. Secret number two. Don't look at the binder's effectiveness from the top. Yeah, so this is a dumb, stupid thing that I keep doing to this day. I tend to look at the binder's effectiveness from the top and then feel like crap. And you're not supposed to do that. But then when I step outside and I see my reflection, I go, Damn! 
because of course looking at it from the top is going to make it look bigger the bump starts from there so don't look at it from the top look at it from the side go find a mirror now don't stand completely straight you're not singing the national anthem just pose a little bit you know test out a few poses that you'll do outside and keep in mind that it's normal to not be completely flat secret number three get handsy with your pancakes your watermelons your badonkadonks someone once commented asking why do their pancakes droop or look droopy whenever they wear a binder because you haven't adjusted them because like say you're wearing a pullover binder you're pushing it down as you put it on so you're gonna have to you know adjust it a little bit you'll have to use your hands to properly spread them so that the binder does its job like how moses parted the sea so you'll have to carry them and kind of spread spread them evenly upwards so that the binder can hold it up. There is a very helpful and useful page on Heroin Binders website detailing methods on how to put on each binder that they offer. So you can see how to put on zipper binders, pullover binders, swimming binders. My technique is to put my arm through here and pull it up. <laughs> this is an uncomfortable topic. Yeah, so you have to get handsy with them, adjust them properly to avoid it from drooping. Secret number four, what you wear matters. So your pancakes in a chest binder is going to look different depending on what you're wearing. So in my case, if I wear high collared t-shirts, my chest pops out in an uncomfortable manner. Why does it look so big? But if I wear t-shirts with a lower collar cut or more loose around the chest area like shirts, look at that. Now I like wearing sweatshirts and hoodies, so that helps even more when I'm wearing binders like this. Honestly, it's doing its thing. So try different types of clothing, different types of style to see what gives you the best result. And don't feel upset if it looks like crap in one outfit. It might just look best in another. Secret number five, get the proper size. So legit binder brands have measurement charts that you can refer to for you to properly measure your chest and purchase the appropriate binder size. Now size will vary from brand to brand. Heroin binders, their size M fits me just right. Even the one that I'm wearing right now, it's an M size. If you purchase ones that are too big for you, you're not going to get the proper compression for your size. But then don't get one that's too small then you can't breathe binders are made to compress so when you're choosing the size you don't have to do any extra thinking they've done it all for you that whole logic of since i want a smaller chest then i have to go for a smaller size doesn't work the chest binders are made the way that they are to compress so you just have to follow the instructions so just stick to the guide and you should be good is it that hard to follow instructions secret number six give your body a break I don't want you guys to buy your binders, wear them, and then start wondering why is everyone else okay and here you are feeling stuffy after 8 hours. That's because we take breaks. Like in my case, I don't wear binders every day. I particularly wear them when I'm going outside or if I have something special to do. Most of the time, I'm wearing sports bras at home. My schedule is that I put it on when I'm going out and then I take it off once I'm home. On some days, I'll decide to wear them at home. Some days, I don't wear them at home. You have to learn how to give your body breaks. No one wears it for too long. You're not supposed to. So don't feel sad or upset that it starts feeling stuffy after long hours that's normal as horrible as dysphoria can get you have to give your body a break when you're wearing chest binders secret number seven the last secret the final secret that i'll be sharing with you and only you okay is understand what dysphoria is because the thing with dysphoria is that you could feel on top of the world today with this binder but tomorrow or even a few hours later you'll end up feeling like crap like it's not working or something like that i've been there and i still experience it to this day you know but i've been wearing chest binders since i was 16 i'm 26 i'm turning 26 now still 25 so it's going to be 10 years i guess i'm in a position where i can somehow advise myself during those moments this happens this is what dysphoria is it will pass of course if you're trans or planning to get surgery you can get your freedom but for people like me this is life so those are the logical chest binding secrets tips and tricks that i can share with you now as for these binders it's not my first time wearing like a hook and loop fastener binder like this but it has been a while the last time i wore a binder similar to this was when i was 19 but then i stopped after an embarrassing incident so here's the thing the fastener part is actually very strong like when i purchased that old binder of mine that had this hook and loop fastener my first question was is this going to hold will it be strong enough that binder it did it did last for a very long time until two years later when it was all worn out and i was still using it that i am presenting in class i'm at college doing some sort of presentation when it comes off I don't think the sound was that loud, that's what I tell myself, but, but it was quite loud for me, you know, I heard it, so I had to do that 
awkward hunching. Yeah, so I've not worn a binder like this since then, but I kind of forgot how easy it is to get into. You just put it on and pa slap it on. Now these boxes, I love their boxer briefs. Like how often do you find boxer briefs with areas for pads? I was surprised to see that there was an area for pads. I mean, I guess now these people wear tampons, but I'm Asian. <laughs> yeah, I mean, guys, if you come to Asia, it's not very common for people to wear tampons. I mean, of course, nowadays, a lot of people are switching. But I'm scared. <laughs> so there you go. Those are the secrets to chest binding that I can share with you. I'm just trying to make you all feel better. I know what it's like to, you know, wear a binder, thinking that it's going to solve all your problems, thinking that it's going to give you pit tan. But then you have to face the reality and live with it. Because that's life. But I've learned over the years and I've accepted that this is the way life is and I'm grateful for what I can get you know with these binders so if you're interested you can use my discount code I'm like okay full on promo mode now so yeah if you are interested in getting any heroine binders products their chest binders their boxer briefs you can use my discount code Josh 10% off to get 10% off sidewise Josh with a capital J and the 10% with the percent symbol so how to purchase is very simple when you head to the website you can change to view it in your currency so don't freak out when you see the initial price that's in new Taiwan dollars Just just go up here, choose your currency, and voila! Speaking about price, if you're a broke student on a limited budget, they're actually having an environmentally friendly promo offering second hands for only $9 per piece while stocks last. These second hand binders are all in good condition. They've mostly been worn for 10 minutes for size check purposes. I'll leave all the important links in the description and pinned comment. So choose your binder, a new one, or their second hand promo, add it to your cart, head to the checkout page, and put in my discount code to get 10% off, and you're good to go. And this code will expire after the 31st of December 2022. So if you have any questions at all, you can reach out to them. They speak English. And for those who have purchased their binders after my other review, can you share your experience of purchasing and even what you think about the cloth, the binder? And I'll see you when I see you.